Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Reese Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making that French classic Madeleines, but gluten-free of course. For all the ingredients and the full recipe, check out my blog on the link below. But today we start with baking powder, gluten-free of course, milk, eggs brought to room temperature, butter, lemon, caster sugar, and gluten-free plain flour. All right, so our first step is just to whip up our eggs and adding into that our sugar. Until well combined. Then just add in our milk. And mix it well. So now it's time to put the dry ingredients together. So just in adding our baking powder to the flour. Let's mix through and zesting our lemon. Now if you don't own a microplane, you can use a um, grater, but a microplane will make this a whole lot faster and easier. And mix the lemon zest through. And now we put all of it together. So over the top of our egg and sugar, we just put our dry ingredients. And now we add our melted butter, which has cooled a little bit. So what we have is a thick, luscious batter. We now need to let that rest for about two hours in the fridge. So we've waited our two hours at least, and I've pulled my batter out of the fridge. So now I'm gonna pipe it into my bag. Now I prefer a disposable piping bag, and then you want your widest plain nozzle. So, popping your nozzle down into the bag, cutting the end off, making sure it pushes through. Now to fill it, just pop your thumb in and push the bag right inside there so that we don't, it doesn't make a mess. And I like to use a tall jug or glass Popping it then in the jug or glass, holding this over the top, I make less of a mess. So our lovely cold batter, we just pop that in our piping bag. And so with my oven preheating to 200 degrees centigrade, fan forced, it's time to pop our batter into our tray. Now I prefer the metal Madeline tray, and a Madeline tray gives us this lovely shell shape. Here we have our batter. So pull it out, no mess in my jug. Push it all down. A twist helps you keep even pressure. And then we can just pipe. And now this goes into the oven for four minutes at 200. Then we turn the oven down to 180 and it's another four minutes. Can't wait, almost time to put the kettle on. So now to check them. Definitely cooked. Oh, yum. As for all gluten free, we need to let them cool in the tin. So now that the tray is cooled, we can pick them up. And you can see the perfect shell shape on them. And as always, the best bit is in the eating. But don't forget to check out all the details on my blog below. Oh, great. Mm. The cake is so light and the lemon just comes through. A beautiful way to have afternoon tea. Until next time, everybody. Ciao.